啊，白蛋，哦，啊，白蛋，啊，黑蛋，啊，黑蛋，呀，啊，我白蛋了吗？啊，哎呦，我好得意啊！ I really don't know. Come on. Ah. Yes. Who is that clown? Hi, my dear. I just saw this clown, Kenny. Oh my! You mean you really hate patterns? Is that what I heard earlier on? Oh my God, Kenny! You really look funny. You shocked me. But I will tell you that patterns are really lovely, easy, and you're gonna get it right. Okay, with me, Kenny? Yeah. Oh, you're being funny with me, are you? Okay, let's look at the song. Hmm. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Let's look at this song, my dear friends, everybody. Maths is magic. Maths is so many things are involved. Financial maths. And now we're going to go into patterns. All right, let's look at the first pattern: three, seven, eleven, fifteen, nineteen, A and B. And there's another pattern. C is another pattern. They want you to write the value of A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, and then write the n term for A, B, C, A, B, and C. Now do not panic. Let's look at the first pattern and see how we do it. We have three, seven, eleven. Fifteen. Wow, they've been so kind to give us so much help here. So many numbers. The difference between three and seven is four. Between seven and eleven is four. Between fifteen and eleven, you take away, you get a four. Nineteen minus fifteen, four. So this will be four more. So what will A be? A will be twenty-three. That's your A, okay? So that's twenty-three, and another four more, and so what will be twenty-seven? So your B is a twenty-seven. You saw it, Kenny? Great. All right, now let's look at B. Let's look at B. I'm giving some space here, okay?、Uh, the second part of the sum, we've got minus two. We've got two, six, ten, fourteen, C and D. What is the difference between both, Kenny? What is the difference? Two minus minus two. What do you get? Four. Ah, two. Please, my dear friends. Two minus what? Minus two. The minus and minus becomes a plus. So you get a four. Six take away two, Kenny. Four, Kenny, Kenny. Ten, take away six. Four. Fourteen, take away ten. Four. Four. And what must C be? Four more. So what again? Eighteen. Oh, you are so good. And what's D going to be? Four more, right? Twenty-two. Oh, Kenny, you're getting it right. So C is eighteen, and D is twenty-two. I need you to be alert and attentive, not make all these funny things and scare me, Kenny. Now let's look at C. We have a minus seven, a minus eleven, a minus fifteen, a minus nineteen, E F G. You can see that minus eleven, minus eleven, minus. You take this number minus that. Minus and minus becomes a plus. Minus eleven plus seven, right? Minus eleven, minus seven. What's the gap? You get minus eleven, minus seven. You get minus seven. Hurry up! What do you get? More y by what? Like is seven take away eleven? Seven minus eleven is the same thing. So seven minus eleven, you're short of a minus four, right? A seven minus eleven. Similarly here, a minus fifteen minus minus eleven is a plus. So it's like eleven minus fifteen, you have a minus four. 
Similarly here you get a minus 4, here's a minus 4. So when you take away a 4 again, minus 4 again, what is E going to be? Minus 19, minus 4, you move this way. So you get a minus 23, alright? Or you can count to check, minus 23, minus 23, minus, minus 19. You put a plus and you get a minus 4. So that's the common difference between the two numbers. And the next F is going to be a minus 27 and your G. Alright, the difference against another 4 is going to be a minus 31. You just add on a minus 4, like minus 7. You add on a minus 4, you get a minus 11. You add on a minus 4, minus 11, minus 7, 4, you get a minus 15. Minus 15, minus 4, gives you a minus 19. Similarly, minus 19, minus 4, minus 23. Minus 23, minus 4, minus 27. And you have a minus 4, you get 31. So your E is determined beautifully, 23. Your F is a minus 27. Your G is a minus 31. The next part of the sum is they want you to write the nth term for ABC. What is the first term, the second term, the third term, the hundredth term, the nth term. They want a general formula and that's where Kenny was worried about patterns. Patterns of a day, night, mother, baby, baby grows up, gets married, gets a mother, becomes a mother again. So it's all rotating patterns, but this is a mathematics pattern and we want to see what the pattern is. If you look at the first sum, 4, 4, 4, that is a pattern of 4. So the nth term will be equal to, it's a multiple of 4, so you put 4n. Take note of this please, you put 4n, when n is 1, you get a 4. But n is 3. The first pattern is 3, not a 4. So what are you going to do? How does 4 become 3? You minus a 1. Alright, you always test it with the first pattern. Alright, 4 times 1 is 4. 4 minus 1, you get a 3. When n is 2, 4 times 2, 8. 8 minus 1, 7. Ooh la la. When n is 3, 4 times 3, 12. 12 minus 1, 11. Alright, when n is 4, you see this is the first term, the second term, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. If I did by this formula, if n is 6, 4 times 6, 24, minus 1, what do you get? 23. If n is 7, 4 times 7, 28. Minus 1, 27. Rule is so beautiful. If I ask you what's the hundredth pattern, don't have to be crazy right until, ayo, whole day. If I ask you thousand pattern, ayo, my God, the millionth pattern. I can get you in a single second. What's the millionth pattern, everybody? Four times million, four million. Minus 1, you get 3,999,000. 999. Very fast. You see? So maths is magic. Alright? So knowing the pattern, the derivation of the n term, you look at the multiple, what it is. Alright? It's a multiple of 4. And then you substitute n as 1. You see 4 minus what will give you a 3. Alright? You get a minus 1. That's how you get it. So I hope you've got that very clear. This is the nth term. Alright? Now let's look at the second pattern. The second pattern is also a multiple of 4. I'm just trying to give you in this sum a picture when it's multiples of 4. How do you get the pattern to be? So what is the nth term going to be? Think, think, think. Uh -huh. It's a multiple of 4, 4, 4, 4. So it is 4n. And how do you get a minus 2? Your n is a 1. First term, 4. 4 minus what? n is 1. 4 minus what? 
will give you a minus 2. Look at this box. Bring this box over. And you bring the minus 2 over. You get a plus 2. So what is the box equal to? 6. So it is 4n minus 6. Alright, it's 4n. Because I put a minus here. 4n minus 6. I repeat again to make it clear. The term is a multiple of 4. So the first term is 4n. You want to put it as n as multiples. You want to get the first term. The first term is a minus 2. So you said, okay, 4n. n is 1. Plus what? Imagine if I put a plus. Equal to minus 2. I want to find out what's the box. The plus 4, come here. Minus 4. So what do I get? The box here is a minus 6. So 4n plus a minus 6, which is 4n minus 6. Are you all clear? It's not really, really difficult. I would like to try again with you so that I want you to be very confident in this basic pattern. As I move on, we're going to get to quite advanced level of patterns. And I want you to sail through. In the maths exam, one of the things that's a hot question, H-O-T, I don't mean you feel hot, all right? I don't mean that kind of hot. It's what? Higher order thinking. Analytical skills, they're calling for. So if you look at this, how do we get equation? There's a multiple of 4. So we said, all right, this nth pattern is a 4n. And then you got to add something or subtract something. You put a box equal to the first pattern. Or maybe you want to take the third pattern. What's the third pattern equals to? 6. So you put 6. What is your n here? 3. So 4 times 1? 3. You get a 12. 4 times 3. Let me write nicely. Alright, 4. Your n here is a 3. Equal to 6. What is this box going to be? This is 12. When you bring it over, the box is going to be 6 minus 12. So the box is a minus 6. So pattern is 4n minus 6. Alright? Simple. Clear. If I want the 100th pattern, 4 times 100, 400 minus 6. What do I get? 3, 9, 4. Ha, ah, so easy. If I want the millionth pattern, no problem. Zillion pattern also can, can do. Who said maths cannot do? Alright, so this is the end term for this. Now let's come to C, which is a little bit, ooh, ah, what is the problem? It's a multiple of a minus 4. So don't worry, the end term, this is a multiple of a minus 4. Alright, it's a multiple of a minus 4. Let me clean what's on top. Alright, all this. How we got that. This is the first pattern. The second pattern. The third. The fourth. The fifth. The sixth. And the seventh. Right, this is a multiple of... Kelly? Minus four, right? Alright, Kenny, it's minus 4. That's the pattern, the multiple, you could see it. How do I get minus 4? I take this, take with that. All of them has a minus 4. So the n term is equal to minus 4n plus what? You want to wonder. So what we do, we take maybe any pattern. We take maybe the first pattern. Minus 4, your n is 1. Plus what? What's the first pattern equals to? Minus 7. So you said, ah. So what is this box going to be? Minus 4 brought over becomes plus 4. So the box is equal to minus 3. Therefore, the n term, n term is equal to minus 4n minus 3. Let's check it out to see if that's right. When n is 2, minus 4 times 2, minus 8, minus 8, minus 3, ah, oh, minus 11. So that, when n is 5, 
minus 4 times 5 minus 20 minus 20 minus 3 minus 23 ooh la la so you see how beautiful it is if, if I want n as 100 minus 400 all right, 4 times 100, uh, minus 4 times 100, minus 400, minus 3, minus 403. Wow, so fast. So it's not funny. Patterns are really important. It really gives you a sense of an analytical mind, a sense of seeing quick things. When you work as a CEO, which I know you can, one day you'll become, and then you'll see the patterns and you'll be saying, um, oh, this is a pattern. This fella is always coming late to work. Patterns. We must solve it. How do you solve it? Now let's overcome the mathematics pattern before we go to life decision patterns. Alright, question two. Move on.